Members of the media, we are joined now by West Virginia basketball coach Bob Huggins. Please use the raised hand feature to ask Coach Huggins a question. And Coach, we'll start with Greg Hunter. So, Bob, just start with the basics in terms of what do you see out of Arkansas? Keys for you guys tomorrow uh, when you play them? Well, they're very talented. Very talented, very athletic. Um, You know, I, I've known, I've known their coach. I've known the family for ever and ever. I knew, knew coach's dad very, very well. He used to work my dad's camp. Uh, so, basketball family, basketball family, been around basketball his whole life, and does a terrific job with them. Coach, our next question comes from Bob Holt of the Arkansas Gazette Democrats. Yeah. Hey, Coach, I, I'm so old. I covered uh, your Cincinnati games when you guys played the Hogs back in the 90s, but uh, good to see you. Um, you know, Gabe Osaboyan played here, um, and, and then I guess Eric, you know, dismissed him, but I think he helped him get on with either West Virginia. Just wonder how Gabe's played for you the last three seasons, and, and this season I saw he had 17 the other night. Yeah, that shocked me too. Um, <laughs> no, he's Gabe's been great. He, I mean, he really has. He's he's played with a lot of energy. He's, uh, I think, for the the first few years he was here, he was primarily a defensive guy that that we put in in situations that he could he could really change the game for us. He's really worked hard on his offense. Uh, and, and he's, he's actually, I think he was six for seven or seven for eight, something like that from the free throw line the other day. You know, before that, we were happy when he hit the rim. <laughs> but, yeah, they, uh, the, the coaching staff at, at Arkansas uh, really helped Gabe to, to get eligible and not have to, to sit a year or anything like that. They were, they were terrific. And, and then I, I know it was a long time ago, but you brought Cincinnati in here and beat Arkansas pretty good back in December 95. Bill Clinton was here. I think you you made a joke about the metal detectors and things and just well, what, wonder what you remember about that that experience. That wasn't a joke. That guy threw my underwear all over the floor. <laughs> okay. And, 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 and then told me to pick it up. <laughs> kind of, I was offended. So, so did the underwear was in your bag or something, I guess? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was leaving there to go uh, to go recruit in Kansas to go actually go see Reuben Patterson. And, uh, yeah, I mean, so I just, I just had an overnight deal in there and I, mean, I understand they got to check it. It's the president of the United States and I've thrown it on the floor. And when I said that to him, you should have seen a look on his face. Yeah. What, 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 what kind of look did he have? The president? He was shocked. Oh, oh I thought you said you're t- meant to the security guy. No, no. Oh, no, the president. The president came in a locker room, came in a locker room, came. I mean, I don't know what to say to the president of the United States. You know, he came over and said hello and, and uh, how are you doing? I said, well, honestly, I'd be doing a lot better if one of your security guys had just, you know, had to throw my underwear on the floor. I understand they got to check the bag and everything. I got all that. Didn't throw it on the floor and not pick it up. I I didn't appreciate it. Well, I hope you're proud. Hope he, said he, he said he'd look into it. Okay. I might have a couple more, but I'll turn it back to your moderator. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. I uh, I apologize. It's the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. I had the Gazette and Democrat uh, mixed up, so my apologies. We'll go back to Greg Hunter. I, I don't know how to follow up with those kind of stories, but uh, back to just basic questions. Obviously, you weren't very happy after the loss the other day, and Talking about personnel, are you going to make any personnel changes, lineup changes uh, tomorrow night? Uh, you know, honestly, I haven't thought about that. I haven't thought about lineup changes or any of that kind of thing. Uh, we we actually, we didn't really practice yesterday. We, we sat and watched game film. We... We talked about 
uh, where we were, why we were, where we were. I went out on the floor and walked through some things, but we didn't do anything yesterday, basketball wise, other than look at film. And it was more of a mental day, which I needed. <laughs> Is that good for both you and players sometimes, not to step away from the game, but just to, to sit back and talk? I can't speak for them, but uh, it was good for me. Bob Herzl. Let me see if I got this right, Bob. Uh, the president of the United States uh, said he'd look into your underwear. No, he didn't say he'd look into my <laughs> underwear. He said he would, he would look into the incident of the guy tossing it all over the floor. You know what's funny, Bob, is is when uh, Senator Manchin was was here in Morgantown and was running, and and he brought the at that time the ex president in, uh, former President Clinton, he came in, and and I and so Joe said go down there in the tent. So I would stand down there in the tent. I don't know what I'm doing, and he wanted me to say a few words on his behalf, and. Um, so I'm standing down there and guy comes over and says, uh, why don't you go? The tent was divided off. He said, why don't you go in the back? Right. So I walked back there and former president Clinton's back there. And, uh, we had a chuckle over, um, the incident as it's now known as. Uh, any other presidents that you have, uh, come across in your day and, uh, been first to go see or whatever? Uh, not that I can recall. <laughs> They'd recall it if you did. I know that. <laughs> well, at least none of its security guys have tossed my underwear all over the floor. So. <laughs> Thanks. Questions for Coach Huggins on the upcoming Arkansas game. We use the raised hand feature. We will go to Ryan Fritz. Hey, Bob, this is a team here that lost, I think, five out of six a few weeks ago in sense of one five in a row, I believe. Um, you notice any differences in them between this stretch and that stretch? And uh, what sticks out most to you about, about this recent streak that they're on? Well, I've just watched the recent streak. I didn't, I didn't watch the other streak. Uh, they're playing really well together, I think. I think they're playing really well together. I think they're they're uh, defensively they're, they're doing a really good job, particularly guarding pick and roll. Uh, I think that's in I think in college basketball today. I think defensively, I think that's the that's what most teams are spending a lot of time doing is trying to shore up their pick and their pick and roll defense. But uh, now, other than that, I mean, I. I watch what they do, you know, I don't really pay attention to what their psyche is like. I can't figure out ours. So why would I worry about somebody else's? Greg Carey. I'm just curious, uh, <clears throat> since big 12 play began, how teams have defended not only Taz, but Sean, I know Jalen was saying the other night that you know, a lot of ball denial has made it kind of tough to get them the ball and what you guys can kind of do to, to maybe combat that or try to get them some easier looks. There's a lot of things we can do, but, you know, they, they've they got to be a willing participant, which which I don't know if they knew how before. And, and uh, so we're, we've, we've talked about it. We haven't worked on it. I mean, we, we haven't done anything uh, – really with the ball uh, since the Oklahoma game. So we've, we're really only going to have one day of practice before, before Arkansas. Justin Jackson. Hey, coaches. Uh, Mr. Holt there said earlier, uh, Gabe, Gabe, when he transferred, I believe he was probably your first official, uh, uh, you know, dipping the toe into the transfer portal kind of guy uh he wasn't a portal there justin there was you, i thought i thought you, he was you, a portal you and that damn portal no there wasn't a portal then 
He just transferred. Okay. No, I'm, I'm, my, my apologies. I thought he was a portal guy. I'm sorry. No, he wasn't a portal guy. You, you, you did kind of mention the, the portal a little bit yesterday, though. Uh, no, the other, that not yesterday, the other day. And Thanks to you and Tony, yeah, about an hour and a half on the radio. <laughs> uh, just, is there, is there any way to, I mean, you know, I, I, I'm guessing your thoughts really haven't changed as much on the portal over the years. I mean, it, it is kind of what it is. Uh, do, do you think that the portal, though, kind of brings – uh, unrealistic expectations sometimes, though, with, with new guys coming in, getting fresh starts, uh, kind of thing. Well, let, let me let me clarify this first of all. First of all, Gabe was brought to us by his AAU coach in Canada, and and I had known Roe for a long, long time. Larry had known row for a long, long time is, is AAU coach. And, and he came in and he, he, he vouched for Gabe and, and his character and countless other things, his, his basketball abilities and what he could bring to the table and, and so forth and so on, which, you know, after you sit down and talk to Gabe, you really don't need anybody vouching for him, but, um, you know, it, it, that is so different from what the portal is today. Right. And, and that's what, that's what I grew up in coaching. If we had a transfer, that's pretty much what it was. It was a high school coach or an AAU coach bringing those people to us. You know, we weren't out there trying to recruit them. Right. I, I mean, as, as you're aware, I mean, I, I spent my, 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 really my, my high school days, junior high days in Ohio with my dad coaching there. So I knew everybody. And so when I, when I got my head coaching job, there were a lot of people that I had a relationship with through my father, through the camp, through everything. So I got a lot of calls about, you know, hey, this guy's not happy here, or this guy, he just he's he's not just fitting in. He's not going to play there. Uh, guys at higher levels. The reason I had all the success that I had at Walsh wasn't my coaching. Right. It was that I got I got really good Division two players. I got Division one players. I got the leading right. scorer uh, at a couple uh, very good mid major schools and then they were the leading scorer there they just coaching change whatever but i had a relationship with them you know so that is so far removed from what's going on with the portal today i wasn't i wasn't getting complete strangers i was getting kids that i had in camp or i knew their coaches extremely well totally totally different deal sure Next question goes to Greg Hunter. Bob, um, SEC Big 12 Challenge. I mean, it's been around about as long as you guys have been in the league, but um, your thoughts about it? Do you, do you like where it is in the schedule? I think from memory you don't, but it, it is where it is. So just give me your thoughts of this this challenge. Well, we play, you know, we play tomorrow, and, and right? We play tomorrow, and then we don't play again until Saturday. Monday. That's right. We, uh, we, it, we're Saturday, Monday. So we're going from playing this to playing the, whatever they are, the number two ranked, three ranked, whatever they are team in the country with one day's prep. That's hard. Um, and then we go another four days or whatever until we play again, five days, whatever it is. I just think they could do a better job of, of spacing it out. And, and not, 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 as, not so much for, the coaches, but for the players, that's a, that's a lot of that's a lot of games and a lot of travel in a very short period of time. Questions for Coach Huggins. Please use the raise hand feature. Bob Holt, did you have a follow up, sir?
Bob, Thank Bob, you. you're on mute. Sure. Okay, I'm sorry. No, 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 I don't know how much film you got in a study on Arkansas. Yeah, you know, JD Note, number one, their point guard. He's leading the SEC in scoring and steals. And number 10, uh, Jalen Williams, their big kids, really been playing well. Just wonder if you have any thoughts on, on either of those guys. They're both very good. Yeah, we, we started watching film of them yesterday, and they're they're very good. They're they're very good to pick and roll. Um, they they don't need a pick and roll really. They can score the ball. They're they're very talented individuals. And 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 then you guys lost four in a row, which I'm I'm sure has not happened to you very often. But you know, looking at who you've lost to, a lot of teams would would lose to those teams. I think, um, you know. Just how do you think you guys have played in this stretch? And I know Arkansas is expecting you guys to come in, you know, with a real sense of urgency and backs against the wall and all that kind of be a huge win, road win if you could get it. Just what's the mindset of you and the team coming here, do you think? Well, I think you're right about the first the first three. We played our last game. We were We were probably as bad as we've been in arguably maybe seven years. I mean, we were horrible. I mean, we weren't just bad. We were horrible. And, you know, I, our guys realized that, um, I mean, obviously you want to, you want to get back in good standing, so to speak, but we've got a lot of respect for Arkansas. Obviously it's a short term, particularly a short term when you've, when you've lost four in a row. And you're right. I mean, the first three teams we played were all ranked teams. The first three teams we lost to were all ranked teams. We were in uh, two of the three games, uh, went right down to the end. So, you know, we we're obviously we we're looking to to play better and get the bad taste out of our mouths. But uh, I probably would have picked somebody else, you know. <laughs> Well, they're, they're, Arkansas is playing pretty well right now, it looks like. They, yeah, they've held their last five opponents to, to like a combined 35% shoot, and defense has really carried them in this stretch. What what are you seeing from them defensively? Well, they're really athletic. They, 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 can, make, they can make plays that the normal human being can't make because they're so athletic. And I think what you said about the big kid, I mean, he's been terrific. He, he's uh, – and, and he's really solidified their pick and roll defense. And when you can have a big there that can stay in front of guards and change shots and, and do all the change shots at the rim, all the things that he does, uh, that's a that's a great weapon to have defensively. And w w w one more, if I could, um, what do you remember about the crowd in 95? I know it's a long time ago, you played a lot of arenas, but you remember being a pretty raucous atmosphere and what, what are you expecting? You know, Eric's really, you know, pushing to get everybody, you know, they've sold all the tickets, but he, he wants all the, all the people in the seats too. What are you expecting from their atmosphere? Well, if I remember correctly, they were very loud and, and very raucous, I guess is the word. Um, early they, yeah. <laughs> as, the, as the game went on they got quieter and quieter yeah you guys uh, kind of put put the turn the volume down on them um, and then do you get a sense this game means a little extra to Gabe you know because he's coming back to a place where he played for a couple of years of course he played high school ball in Little Rock there his last year I guess you know Gabe Gabe loves to play the game and, and I don't, I mean, I'm sure it means something to him and, and probably a little more, but Gabe is, Gabe plays with great enthusiasm all the time. It, it, he's not, you know, he's not one of those guys who is, is uh, all excited one, one day and, and then the dumps the next. I mean, he, he has a pretty constant uh, demeanor. And he's, you know, he's grown up a lot. He's, he's, I mean, we, we all, we all are a little, uh, what's the right word to say? I, I want to say dumber. That's a bad word. But when we're younger, we, we have a tendency to make mistakes that obviously you're certainly not going to make as you grow older. And, and, and Gabe has really grown up. Uh, 
not that not that he had a problem before, but he was he has really grown up into uh, a man. Gabe's a man, and he is without question uh, the leader and the heart and soul of our basketball team. And I checked with UA. I don't think Bill Clinton's going to be at the game, so hopefully there won't be any uh, security issues. Well, I don't think so either. In that he, you know, he hadn't been president for quite a while, so. I actually I saw him here in Morgantown uh, a while ago. So he, he seems seemingly doing well. Lost a lot of weight. Looks good. Yeah, I think he's eating. And I don't think he's at McDonald's as much. <laughs> I, I sure appreciate your time. I hope you guys have a, have a good trip in. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Any other further questions for Coach Huggins? Coach, that looks like that will take care of us for today. Please thank you, Michael. Okay, thank you. Thank you, members of the media.